What's poppin'? It's Mello back at you with another video. And today we will be looking at a saturation plugin called Thickify. We're gonna go over it, I'm gonna demonstrate it, we're gonna listen to it, see how it impacts a lot of the instruments that you use in your beats. So if you're not familiar with what saturation is, it's usually a type of distortion that you get through analog clipping, usually, and it gives you a lot of warmth and it can make a sound sound more full because it adds harmonics to the sound. Now, saturation can be used on all types of instruments. It can be used on synth, it can be used on guitars, but in my opinion, it has the most impact on drums and bass. There's gonna be a link in the description for the product if you like what you hear, but before we get into it, I need you to put a like on the video and let's go. All right, so I have this drum loop here. Now what we're gonna do is add some saturation to that, but I'm gonna go over the features of Thickify so you know exactly how it works. With this knob here, you see Johnny gets a little bit buffer, gets real buff. That controls the general saturation. This right here controls where the saturation is targeting as far as what frequencies for the most part. The auto button right there, that is auto gain. That means it's gonna keep everything at the same volume so you can actually hear what changes are being made without the volume spiking. I like to take that off, but we're gonna keep it on. The bypass button lets you hear pretty much what it sounded like before. You should be familiar with the bypass feature on most VSTs. The oversampling is to basically keep the saturation quality high. It's a very important feature for a saturation plugin that most saturation plugins don't have. It's very subtle, but it keeps the quality high. So what we're gonna do is play around with this knob very quickly, then I'll get to the other two. So let's get Johnny Buck. You hear how the tone changes it. So now that we got a foundation, let's let's take the auto off really quickly, just so you can see how it impacts it from a loudness standpoint when you actually take it off. Very dope. Now, as far as the stress, you see how he gets angrier? And the drive, those pretty much control the different flavors of distortion and aggression that the saturation plugin has. The tone definitely does that as well to an extent as far as, you know, the color or whatever you wanna call it, the timbre. Let's play with these with the auto on to see how it affects it. That's just to the max. Now let's do the drive. And if you turn that down, you know, of course, it affects it differently. So let's actually get busy with it. Let me try and thicken this drum pattern up. I just wanted to show you the extremities of what it can do, but let's actually do it. So I'm gonna take the auto off. Let's get busy. I like that, even if we take the level down some, because we could crank it all the way up, but let's take it down. With that, this can really give you that crunch and that thickness that you need. So I feel like this works very good on individual drum samples and bass. So I'm gonna take you through a few drum samples, play around with it on some drums. Let's listen to this very quickly. Basic pattern, basic pattern. And I have the snare on Thickify. With this, you can add not only thickness to it, 
but more air to the snare as well. So let's play it. Now look at that. It's still hitting at six decibels. Let's do the bypass so you can hear the difference. You see the big flex on the big boy right there, man. A lot more aggressive. Now let's go to the kick and add some thickify on the kick. Now I'm gonna just stop right there. Cause like you see, like it just, it just, it just made the bass extra strong in that kick. It has the most impact on the kick. Let's continue. Just bypass to see how I see the difference. Now we got that, we got that. We're gonna do the bypass. This is with it on. This is with it off. A lot more. Come on, man, come on. The bass is really punching through because it's a saturator. Now, when we take this off, you know it's about to just blow through like, Come on, man. Come on. It's good for snares. It's good for drums. But again, like I said, with the low end stuff, it's amazing. You just see it just gave it a whole level of thickness and bass and punch that it didn't have before. I got this composition I made. We're gonna be working with the 808. So you get it, you hear it, you hear a very wonky beat. We're gonna focus on just 808 because I feel like saturators, like I mentioned, they're really good for low end. You can use them on all types of instruments, guitar, synths, all that stuff. But I really feel like it's good on low end. This is really gonna be shown in this part, the 808. So we're gonna isolate the 808 and we're gonna play with the knobs. This time I'm gonna take the auto gain off. And see, to me that's smooth. Like a lot more aggression. So we're gonna listen to the original first. And we're gonna listen to the Thickify version. Mm. Like much, much more, much more aggressive. It's gonna cut through the mix more. Let's listen to it in the context of the whole song. We're gonna do original first.
crazy. All right, I also got another basic composition with the bass and we're gonna use Thicker File on the bass. That's the regular composition. We're gonna focus on using Thicker Fire. This time we're gonna use it while the whole beat is playing during the mix. So let's use it. See, it does a great job at thickening up that bass. It's a very good saturation plug-in. You can even use it on a master channel to thicken your mix. You don't wanna go overboard with that. That's something I may discuss in the future. Saturation has a lot of uses, and this is a very good saturation plug-in. For a limited time, they're gonna be giving away three sample packs when you get Thickify, so you definitely wanna hop on that. They got a trap sample pack as well. Link is in the description. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the plugin. Let me know what you think of the video. Also, one thing I did want to mention, Thickify has a demo. Check that out on the website. You can see the impact that it's going to have on your beats. It's going to be coming with more tutorials soon, especially on the R&B tip. We just opened up that lane, so I'm going to give you some R&B stuff. Other than that, I'll see y'all another day, somehow, some way. I'm out.